Let me begin by showing you a picture right here. Now, as soon as you see this picture, a number of conclusions forms in your brain. Maybe the man is annoyed or angry because he's frowning. Let me present another scenario where let's say there's a person named Steve and Steve is intelligent and strong. Now, do you think Steve can be a good leader? Now, the answer to that question would be we might have thought, yes, he can be a good leader. This is how our brain functions or the term coined by Kenny Hem is YCRT or what we see is all there is. What you see is all there is. Now, what does it mean is like, let's take the example of Steve. Just by two adjectives, that is strong and intelligent, you formed a conclusion, a coherent story in your mind that he might be a good leader. But what if the adjective after that was corrupt and cruel? Thus you see, system 1 or the YCRT functions in such a way that it requires limited information and it starts forming conclusions without taking note of the quantity or quality of information that it has got. The way out of this error is the system 2 part of the brain which does a deeper analysis thinking but for which we require practice cause it's the lazy part of the brain. So I can go deeper into system 2 but for today we have got to know that there is YCRT and we need to be careful of this intuitive conclusions of the brain. Thank you.